Hello, how you guys doing? No fab day, 16 of 90. And we're back outside in the field again. Hope you guys aren't that bust of nuts, because I know I'm definitely not. Damn flies. <sighs> Yet. Let's zoom back out real quick. Hope you guys aren't that bust of nuts. Hope you guys are having good streaks. Um, uh, yeah, it was the first day of class yesterday, so that was pretty interesting. Uh, so what did I do yesterday? Well, I went to my first day of classes, which was interesting. It's definitely different when you go from 100 students to like, I mean, <laughs> when you go from like 20 students in the class, 20 to 20, 20 to 25 at the most, to 100 students in one class. I went to class, I went, I came to class on time. I didn't come late. I came to class on time at 9 a.m. And the whole class was full. I'm like, damn, <laughs> you know, 100 people in the, in the class. I had to go in the back and find a seat. So yeah. If you go to if you go if you go if you going from a uh, community college to university, you definitely gonna have to get used to the uh, big classrooms depending on how big your university is because, yeah, <laughs> it's definitely adjustments. But um, yeah, man, yeah, man, still felt felt some anxiety, felt some um, still feel, feel those negative emotions. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah man, um, it's definitely getting better. It's definitely getting better. It's definitely getting better. I should say um. I know I keep saying this, but I definitely have to write this stuff. Keep I, I they have a, I definitely have to document this stuff and keep writing, write it down. How my day that way I can have like I can know exactly what I was feeling and, and exactly you know how to um not get it, not fix it, but um so I can talk about it in the video like how I'm feeling and stuff. Um, today was a little bit better of a day. I felt a little bit, felt a little bit more better. Felt a little more um confident. Felt a little more calmer. I guess it will um, increase as the days as the days are going on. Um. Last night, I also read, um, today's, today's actually Wednesday, no, today's Tuesday. I actually read last night that, um, on, 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 on the, on the NoFap website about, um, about, like, about the NoFap timeline, you know, the first couple of weeks, urges, so you met, uh, urges, and, you know, second week, you get a little more confidence, then by, like, the third week, you're telling yourself that, you know, NoFap is, is it gonna work, it's not working for you, you start making excuses that maybe I, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Then, then the fourth week, you know, um, flat line stages for some people. Then after that, you start to, you know, come out of it. And look, really, pretty much the point is, you, you will not see, like, true benefits. I get, I'm guessing to, like, um, let, let me back up really quickly. Um, then after the fourth week is when you start seeing, like, lasting benefits. But um, depending on how long, you, how addicted you are and how many nights you busted, I think that, um, I'm, I'm going to say that it may take probably like what well, the website, you know, uh, I think it's your brand point or, or the NoFap website. Um, they say about what six months, and then, which makes sense if you've been watching porn for like 10 years, which some of us actually have been doing since we were like 12 years old, you know. So, um, yeah, it can take like that long just to fully recover yourself from the um, porn induced erectile dysfunction and fully get those benefits. But um, that's nobody said like 90 days is like the standard, you know. It's like the standard time, but for some people, it's not guaranteed that in 90 days you're going to be, be healed from all the nut busting and penis assaults you've been putting on yourself. So some people it may take longer. Some people may need to go longer. Some people may need to um. Some people may need to <laughs> go almost a year without watching porn for they for they fully fully recover. And um, as people say, um, become a kid again, quote unquote. Um. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Um, since I've been on campus, I know that um, I've been I've been overthinking a lot of things, like a lot of things. Like if you guys can go hop into my mind and see what exactly I overthink and how exactly I overthink certain thoughts, you be like, let me get the hell out of this guy's mind because it's crazy. I you know he's I, I, he just too much. So I'm trying to focus on. I'm doing a little bit. More, I'm doing some mindfulness meditations in the morning. I'm gonna start jogging at the um at the uh, track because like I said before, it's a really nice gym here, and there's just no excuse for us not for me not to work out here. So, um, yeah, man, first day of classes, it was pretty interesting. Had my second day of classes today. Um, so far, the teachers are pretty good. But this one class, never mind, let's, let's get on. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I left off at some more time. Oh, yeah, urges as well. Again, w whenever I get like urge or whenever I think about busting that nut, typically it's, it takes me a couple of seconds and I kind of fight, I kind of get over it. Um, Again, I bring it back to the point that I'm not trying to be. I'm not going to try. I'm not trying to be bust no nuts. Cause if I bust, I guarantee if I bust a bunch of nuts in the in the dorm room and had to literally go out 
you know, in the morning time and see a bunch of people and interact. I'm going to be, I'm not going to be, in, I'm not going to be in it. So that's kind of been helping with the urges. But the urges are still there, definitely. It's not like I just don't have any urges, you know. But um, as time goes by, they will get stronger and stronger. And um, I want somebody to be, I want somebody to be able to rely on, rely on. I'm not gonna bust a nut with the roommate in the room. It's gonna get tougher and tougher. Um, I'm glad my guy Fitz Brown fought over a strong urge. Um, that's good, my brother. We almost there. We're not almost, but you know. <laughs> Last comment, I left off of ZZ Rocks' comment. So let's get to my guy T-Dog. Uh, hey Cardigan, it's been a while since I've commented. I just wanna shout out, shout out to the fact you're on day 14. Congrats, bro, keep in motion. And break old habits for day three for me t tomorrow. P.S. Keep the sun gazing because it has many benefits. Hey, bro, appreciate it, my brother. Appreciate it. Appreciate it for, for the kind words and the kind comments. They're definitely motivational and um, they're definitely, like I said, all, all the comments keep me going. And the breaking old habits is really, it's really uh, most important because if you can't, you can't, um, it, you can literally be, go for years of your life doing the same negative habits and never change it because you're so comfortable doing the, 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 the bad habits and it's so uncomfortable getting into new habits that you just say fuck it and you just it's easier just to do the, the continue to the old habits or old habits are so ingrained in your mind that you almost seem like it's, it's a part of you and you we think you can't really get over it but um it's definitely that's definitely true bro it's ain't for the comments or comment rather yeah comments my guy Kinko Pake Drunk words or sober thoughts. Day one, heart mode, and even stumbling across porn without mo, it can relapse. Drunk words or sober thoughts. Day one, heart mode, even stumbling across porn without mo, it can relapse. Cold, hashtag cold turkey. Even even stumbling even stumbling across porn without mo is a relapse. Cold turkey. Yeah, bro, that's definitely true. Yeah, I think I've never been drunk before, so I wouldn't know what that what it is, but um. I think I everything you can't if you have something in your heart that you really want to say and you get drunk and you just start saying stuff, you you kinda really want to, you kinda really want to say it for a while now, you were just holding it in to you. You were just kinda holding it in. But the alcohol kinda, you know, kind of bought it out of you. And so um, that's definitely true. But um yeah, but I think it's better, I think it's definitely better just to do cold turkey as well, because um again. I mean, you, you. I mean, I've read on no, on the web, no fat, on the no fat website last night as well that um that um some people they they just quit cut the porn out, but they just masturbate without porn, like once a week. Well, I read a guy's a guy's comment. He said he did he did this, and um that definitely would help. But at the same time, to fully cut on like if you, if you have porn induced erectile dysfunction, which you've been beating off the porn for ten years and haven't had any many or any or many sexual experience to order to test your, quote unquote test yourself. You're probably going to have some sort of uh, point of decent, induced erectile dysfunction, and if you have that and you still masturbating once a week, it's going to really, really, really slow that down. So that's why it's really good just to quit bo both things at least, at least masturbation as well for like 90 days. Of course, porn, but a masturbation, people are going to do whatever they want to do. They're going to still masturbate. I mean, they're going to still masturbate with or without porn. But my thing is, if you if you have point induced erectile dysfunction and if you're trying to recover your brain or reboot your brain. Um, I would definitely require. I would require. I would definitely recommend. I'm thinking. I, I got these classes. Something that's what I'm saying. Recommend <laughs> or require. You know, every damn class I require you to have something. But um, yeah, bro. I would definitely recommend the cold turkey method because if you're still masturbating, even while not watching porn, you're still putting that thought in your mind that you're busting that nut, and you still and, and they kind of they're kind of hand in hand, sort of like when you masturbate, you watch porn too. So if you do one without the other, you're gonna kind of remind yourself of the other. And one day you can just like fuck it. I'm about to watch porn. Then you watch porn. Now you're back in the same. I just much rather just go cold turkey at all, and then and go to cold turkey and feel the benefits. You know, more, much more quicker. My guy Eli Hem, I think it's a new commenter. Yo, Carter, I see you. You have free from dreads. I'm in the process as well. How did you start yours? Nice video. Nice vid too. Hey, boy, you should, you should post a video of yourself so I can look at you, so I can see your hair. But, um, pretty pretty much uh, what I did was I did a bunch of different things. I tried twisting it with my hands. I tried getting a sponge, but ultimately, what worked for me was best was um, getting like getting like the, the little dread sponge, um, like wet wet my hair, wet the sponge, get some twisting gel like the eco style eco eco pro style styler gel, put a, a bunch of it on the brush, put some, a little bit of it in your hair too, and then just go over it in like a circular motion, and then after you do that for a while, eventually your hair will will, will start to separate and look like how you kind of. Well, how you want it, you keep doing it. To, you keep um, twisting it until 
you get your desired effect, you just leave it alone. Um, I kind of want them to drop. Uh, I want them to drop so I can shake it, so I can be bougie. Because once my head gets long enough so I can shake it, I'm like bougie as hell. I'm joking, no. <laughs> but thanks for the comment, bro. My guy Zam Jam, enjoy your semester at uni in university, man. Hope you ain't out here out there busting that busting them nuts unless it's it it's on some nasty ass college show. hey bro you know yeah you never know <laughs> you right bro you right bro the plan is to not bust any more nuts unless it's, unless it's involved with a real life female so thank you for your comment bro my brother Matt you upstairs wishing you the best of luck with university which state is it in bro North Carolina uh, and have you ever thought about doing live streaming uh, I thought about it for a couple of seconds, but I will. I, I kind of figured out that um, with 280 subscribers, nobody will really show up, and um, so you know, I don't think I don't think anybody will really show up if I did like a live stream. Isaiah Purnell, drunk words and sober thoughts definitely reveals the most out of some people. But anyway, congrats on the trap on the trap in your life and day 14. I'm back on day one, just trying to remain positive, keep inspiring, and looking forward to the progression. Appreciate my brother Purnell. Um, yeah, bro, um, yeah, again, again, I've never been drunk before, so I wouldn't know, but I definitely think that's true. Um, just like, just like they say liquid courage, like when a guy's in the bar and he gets really drunk. That's why I waited on, on a NoFap website last night, too. Y'all see him be doing this NoFap stuff. No, it's actually a, a video about NoFap, um, I think. Or I think it was a video about addiction or NoFap or whatever the video was about. I, I'm sure it was about NoFap. And, um, pretty much, like, when you, when you, um, you know when you drink you get that liquid courage or whatever you get that liquid courage and you're able to go up to the uh, cute girl and talk to her but you're still drunk and you're not in your right in your right state a lot of bars with what the com what the commenter said or what a lot of bars for the commenter said he said they he said that they um they intentionally put the um the uh, bar right there they intentionally put the uh, bar right there that way that um we'll put bars in clubs because they know got they're gonna be cute girls there and when they're cute girls, guys are gonna wanna talk to them. So guys come into the club and they they have to get drunk. They gotta get drunk to talk to girls. And that's why they make so much money in the club. And then they buy girl drinks too, so that's more money. So it's pretty smart, but um Yeah, if you have to get liquid courage, a lot of people have to they need guys need liquid courage to talk to girls. And some people they get drunk and they all of a sudden they, they turn to assholes or bad quote unquote badasses. And they gotta just tell everybody with everything that's on, on their mind. So I definitely believe in that. He says he's on day one. He's just looking for day one and trying to remain positive. Yeah, bro. The thing about no fat knows is that um a lot of times you kind of feel like like now you get to a point to where it's like I know I'm not supposed to allow no fat for to change all my to um change all of my um problems, but um. I hate a lot of people talk about benefits, and I'm not getting any benefits, so I'm just gonna quit and bust this nut. But then when you bust those nuts, you realize that you binge and or binge because you inevitably you binge because you don't know fat, you binge. Then you realize that you feel really shitty with binging. Then you realize that you feel so so anxiety stricken when you go out in public that you can't bear to take it. And now then you then you have back you, then you have back on no fat because now you got you realize no fat is is gonna help you out because you realize that you're addicted to porn, and so um. At that point is when you start again, but guess what? The cycle repeats. You back to you get back to day 14, 15, 16. Then all of a sudden you get urges. You don't feel like no fat's working for you. Then you bust more nuts and you keep repeating. You're repeating the cycle without ever ever getting to a, like day 30, or whatever. Really getting to the point where you can see changes. So um, yeah, bro. That's the thing about that's what I'm going through now. That um doubt that that doubt stage where you start doubting no fat. But you, we all know it's it just what your brain does to try to get you back to your old habits. But um, I don't, anybody, I'm definitely not trying to do that habit here. Cause if that crash today, if I if I bust one nut and I bench in the damn and on this damn university campus, I'm probably gonna fail that class. That's how hard this class I can tell is gonna be. And the teacher said like five, six, seven times, it's gonna be a hard class. I'm telling you guys, it's gonna be a hard class. So yeah, you guys, I, I need some cocaine. So I'm gonna buy me some cocaine and some um, cigarettes and a prostitute to help me get over this um, stressful class. Uh, blue, I already know it's going to be stressful. <laughs> My guy, Blue Pac-Man 13. Hey, Cardigan, that's a good good you're getting out there in an open more. Congrats on two weeks. What I meant to say was, it's better to stop cold turkey from hardcore pornography. Or he, he said, was it better to stop cold turkey from 
hardcore pornography, or is it better to gradually get longer streaks by watching softer and softer types of porn? Thanks, bro. You got this. Thank, you, thank you for the comment, my brother Pac Man, and thanks for clar uh, clar clarifying. I definitely think it's, I definitely think it's, it's, it's born beneficial to stop cold turkey from hardcore pornography because if you if you watch softcore porn and you watch you try to gradually reduce your your, your video porn, you know you still watch this porn at the end of the day. You still it's still visual stimuli that that you need to get off to. And the problem no fat is to completely grid yourself of relying on visual um, stimuli to get you off. The whole point of no fat is to get you to um, be turned on by real life women rather than watching them on t on the uh, on TV. Shit, TV too, but your uh, your uh, mobile devices, and so when you um go when you go cold turkey from hardcore porn, all porn in general, which in reality everything that gets you off. If you watch someone t like these trees over there, these trees that are right in front of me. If I if I'm sexually attracted to trees, if I'm always looking at trees, tree videos on YouTube, and that gets me sexually excited, you know. Guess what I'm gonna have to do? I'm gonna have to stop watching tree videos on YouTube because tree videos on YouTube get me sexually excited. So I have to stop doing that. And so that's why I say, um, any pretty much everything that gets you off sexually is pornography. You should, it can be a twerk video that can be considered hardcore. If it gets you, if, if it if it makes you so stimulated that you just have you just have to bust that nut. That that you have to stop that because that's really stimulating to you. So pretty much your brain doesn't know the difference. So um, yeah, but I think it's more, definitely more beneficial to, just to quit hardcore porn, cold turkey. It's gonna be really difficult, but at the same time. The benefits gonna be better, and anything, and anything in life that's really, really, really hard is gonna be worth it in the end. So yeah, bro, really thankful for clarifying your comment. My guy, twenty four seven betterment. You better stop. You better stop. You better not let the environment get you to stop smoking and drinking. Ha ha. I've been smoking drug. I've been smoking drug for twenty one years, even though I was twenty two. So I'm definitely not about to do it now. You can't give me just like you see people in the corners doing meth or doing hardcore drugs. Hey, bro, come try. It's really good. <laughs> nope, not me. Because it's, that's something I'm not gonna do. I have a, I have an addictive personality. I get latched onto very bad habits really quickly. But you ain't about to give me a smoke or a drink or do anything stupid like that. So um, that's not that's not an issue for me, by my mother. But again, thanks for uh, well, good luck. Well, good luck. Congratulations on getting past that strong urge, bro. I think this I think this time we finally got these streaks. This is our time, bro. This is our time. My guy, son of segment, they'll go up there and fall in love with no no good chick. You did a good job dealing with that racist BS. You can't argue with crazy because you're not going to convince them and not they're not going to convince and they're not going to convince you and you'll go crazy trying to do so. Bro, I swear I woke up this morning and said I'm on day forever. Yeah, but it's actually I don't I don't know if she was racist or not. I just think she had a little bit too much to drink. I think she had a little bit too much to drink. And um Well she she could have she <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm gonna tell you guys a really funny joke that she said it wasn't a joke, it was just she might be racist, I don't know. She was, it's, I don't care. It's, it was, this is funny. She was like, um, she, she said, um, she said, um, yeah, I really feel for the Black Lives Matter. You know, um, rest in peace, Harambe. I'm like, what the hell does Harambe have to do with? What does Harambe have to do with Black Lives Matter? Are you calling black people monkeys? Low key, she, low key. She, that's what she kind of said. But um, hey boy, hey, it's really, you, it's really hard to get me to words to offend me. And um, yeah, bro, she she was really um, she was really like out there. And when she was laying, her, she was laying her head all over me. You know, um, she was like, "I like you, I like you." I'm like, "Hey, I don't like you like that." So you know, hey, I, I don't want nothing to do with any, with any drunk females. Get away from me. <laughs> that's how that's how they, that's how you get cases. You wake up the next morning. Who was I with last night? It was with me. <laughs> I do not want to do anything. I want anything to do with drunk females. That's a very much a turn off. Um, you can barely you can barely understand them. Um, their breath smells like alcohol, which is not good. Hey, I ain't got time for that. Like my guy Bryce Tiller said, go ahead and get the fuck from me because I ain't got time for that. But it was pretty funny. That was that was funny though. I must not lie. She like, what does her rhyme have to do with Black Lives Matter? But um, <laughs> this video is already long, you guys. I see you guys tomorrow for day seven. I see you guys tomorrow for days. Well, I see you guys soon for day seventeen. And as always, don't relapse.